Um, so, uh, I got this topic I was thinking about doing, um, because I'm, I'm listening to, uh, my favorite rapper, uh, his name's Idea, from Minnesota. I mean, he died in, uh, I think 2009. But he has a song on one of his albums. I think it's, um, I think it might be the Oliver Hart Village. The Oliver Hart album. Um, no, it's not the Oliver Hart album. What's the other one? Oliver Hart. And, uh, Firstborn. <laughs> there we go. It took me so long. Okay, so he has a, a song on this album called Firstborn. And, um, it has a little intro, but. Um, I'm not going to give you the lyrics. Um, you can look at the lyrics yourself. Not being like that. But um, I don't know the lyrics off the top of my head. All the way. So I can't give you all the lyrics or whatever. Um, but you can look up the lyrics. The song is called. Um, what is the song called? The song is called. Birth of a Fish. Okay. So Birth of a Fish. Uh, if you're not that into rap, it might sound confusing, and if you're not that into philosophy, it might sound confusing, and, um, and so I think if you're into rap, you can pick it up quicker than your average person that's not into rap, because you can't, uh, you know, you gotta hear the ear for it, but anyway, um, so the song in itself is talking about a guy who, um, you know, was going through life basically and he has a, a tank in his house you know basically in his room and in that tank is a fish and this fish is like just swimming around you know doing his thing in a fish I mean doing his thing like a fish and he basically goes up to the fish and he's like hey you know um, why are you looking so down and the fish starts explaining why he looks so down and so both of them are having like this this dialogue between the two of them and then towards the end the fish is like you know uh, you didn't realize it but you're the fish you were the fish all along and then the guy says uh, he realizes he was a fish the whole time and the tank was his mind okay so now that sounds kind of weird you gotta hear the song it sounds kind of weird but then the, vol the very next song um, breaks it down in a sort of a philosophical, in a philosophical sense. Okay, this is what makes this song so good, and this is what makes Idea to me one of the greatest rappers of all time, um, and definitely my favorite. Is that he brings up? Uh, I think it's Plato's Cave, or yeah, it should be Plato's Cave. And so, uh, if you don't know Plato's Cave, then it might sound a little weird so I might as well break it down and tell you what it is if I got the name wrong no forgive me don't wild out <laughs> but I think it's Plato Cave and the, the idea behind Plato's Cave Plato was a, um, a philosopher back in the day in Greek he was a Greek and so the, the idea behind Plato's Cave a brief overview of it is that let's say you were born into a cave and um, You've lived there for years and years and years, and you're shackled to the people, other people that's in this cave. And the only thing, only way you can look is against this wall, right? And you're looking at the wall, and you see like different images and stuff like that. That's the only thing you see for, let's say, 20, 30 years. You know people besides you. See, do you know that besides you? You're chained up. You can't go anywhere. You get your food. However, you get your food, whatever. But what you get to see is just like shadows and stuff like that from like light bouncing off the the, uh, the cave's wall. Okay. So then one day you're able to escape. You escape. You go out to the real world. Uh, you see everything for the first time. Um, you see that there's more than the world to just this cave. And then you go back and you try to tell the people... Um, that is still stuck in the cave, all the things you've seen. And then the people that was in that cave are like, ah, oh, yeah, you're you're a liar, you're crazy. That doesn't make any sense. Okay, so 
in that song he talks about Plato's cave, but he does he just gives a you know, he just throws the 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 idea out there but he doesn't go into any in depth or anything. But he keeps talking about the whole idea from the first song about the the guy's mind being that 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 square, that box, you know, that that uh that aquarium they lives in. The guy's the fish and what he's stuck in is that box. That that aquarium. Okay? So that's like Pedro's cave, sort of. And so he keeps going, going and going, and he's uh, it's trying to explain it in a different way. So he goes to explain it as a cubicle. And uh, so he says, well, let's say you live inside of a cubicle or box or whatever. And you've been living there all your life, right? You're living there all your life. And because you're inside the box or the cubicle, you have no idea that it's a box or a cubicle. You know you're in something, but you don't know what it is. Because you can never uh, see it from the outside, you know. It's like, um, I don't know. It's like, I was going to say it was like being on the planet. Um, but there's ways of telling, <laughs> there's ways of telling that the earth's round because of that. But maybe it's like, I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. But the idea is that you cannot... The, the only way to tell that something is something, <laughs> the only way to tell is something, like the only way to tell a box is a box, or a circle is a circle, I mean a, a cube is a cube, or um, um, a triangle is a triangle, is to be outside of the object and to see it subjectively, you know? Being inside of this chair, this bench right here, I wouldn't be able to tell you it's a bench until I'm outside of that bench and then I can look at it and say, oh, it's a bench. But while I'm living inside of it, then there's something else, you know. I don't get to see the full picture of what this thing is. You get it? Okay, so let's move on for that. So he goes to explain that, you know, and uh, that the only way to, uh, to understand something is to be outside of it and then he goes into the mind itself your mind is the thing that you use 100% of the time to interact with everything else outside of your body okay so you get all kinds of images and you get all kinds of smells and you get you know tastes and stuff like that and it goes through these sensory inputs the eyes your nose your ears all that uh, through your skin senses and all you get all these sensory inputs and then it goes through uh, the nerve endings and then it reaches uh, your brain and then your brain has to filter out um, has to filter these things to it so it can ex understand it so you can see what's going on and you can understand what's going on and so another point he was saying was that your mind takes in a whole bunch of sensory inputs at one time. Like a whole bunch. And it's a lot more than you take notice of. You know, your body, your mind takes in a bunch of information. It uh, separates it into what it needs and what it don't need. It discards what it don't need. And it keeps the only things that it does need. Alright. So it's just, you know, just saying that, you know, that... This is how the world works. This is how senses work and all that stuff. So he's getting a little deeper. And then he goes into the main point of the story. Which is. If the mind's a box. Right. And the only way to understand the box. Is by being outside of the box. And looking at it. Then. Your brain. Is that box. And the only way to understand the brain. Is to be outside of the brain. And look at it. And it goes even further with this in saying that every thought that you have is because of this box. So every thought that you have is within the, your brain that you have. And that brain is your box that you can't get out of. So you can't understand exactly what's going on with the brain itself because you can never get outside your brain, right? So then it goes to... Um, 
that he says that uh, one of the lines is nobody really knows what happens when you think so you can never really uh, nobody understands what happens when you think so you can never really understand anything now, uh, what is, is that the line? nobody understands what happens when you think therefore you can never really n ever know anything there we go nobody understands what happens when you think therefore you can never know therefore you can never really ever know anything which is to say that if all the input that you get to make and come up with an idea it goes to your brain right and that brain is your box that you can't see the outside of so you can't understand it then that means everything in a sense if you like you know you keep going with it that everything that you think you know you really don't know because you can't really get a outside perspective of it you're always influenced by your brain itself you know you can't become you can't be objective to an object that you're in you only can be objective to an object that you're out of you could be objective to or you can see the bigger picture of let's say living in England if you're in America and you're getting information about England then you can get being in England itself now you can understand a frog better by by doing autopsies on a frog than you would get from being the frog itself you know I hope this is making sense because <laughs> it's kind of a tri tricky topic but I don't think it's too complicated for, for uh, people to understand but it's just like um, I, I would agree that it's kind of a tricky topic but I think you know it's an interesting topic and it's it's, um, it's, a, it's a wonderful topic and it's really great that he did it in a rap and um, I just want to know what you guys think of that idea um, and uh, granted, it does call in question your own, uh, your own thought patterns and your own life. And, um, I guess you could say how smart you are, you know, but it's, um, it's a, like I said, it's a very interesting topic. You know, when you, when you start adding all those things together and it's like, yeah. I'll never be able to know because I'm so it's like it's like trying to figure out what's on the outside of the universe or what the universe looks like you know but then you can say well we could figure out what was on the outside of the earth but then no because if you think about it like that, if you could say, you know, we could understand what that the place in Earth, and then we could understand the place in the solar system, we could understand our place in the galaxy, we could understand other galaxies is a different story, but just your galaxy. Okay, I understand that. But it's not, we're not encapsulated. See, that's the thing. We're not encapsulated in the Earth. We live on top of the Earth, so we can always see out. I'm talking about, or this idea is talking about being encapsulated in something that you can't get out of. You're in, you're in this thing. You're in the box. It would be the same as if we lived inside of the earth and have never been outside. We, we, we're inside of the earth. We've never been outside of the earth. We've never seen anything outside of the earth. And you're trying to figure out what, what it's like to be outside of the earth. So we can understand other solar systems because we're not in those solar systems. We can understand how it is outside the Earth because we're not actually inside the Earth. We're on, you know, on the planet. And you can say we're inside the solar system, but we're not contained in a solar system either. You know, but the universe itself, um, I would say technically we are contained in the universe. And so it would be, you know, one of those things of how could you figure out what what it would be like to be outside of the universe? 
or to be outside of space itself. You know, what is what is space other than distance, you know? I don't know. But that's that's one of those things. Makes you think. Makes your mind go, hmm. Makes you go, hmm. You know? Well, at least it made me go, hmm. So, uh, let me know what you think about that topic. About, you know, the mind in itself and the philosophy of it. And the concept of not actually ever being able to know anything. Because of the, the box that we're trapped in that we can't get out of. Which is our own mind. Um, and that's it for that topic. So, uh, talk to you guys later. Give me a head nod. Up. There you go.